Hey there, folks. It's Joshua from the future here. Uh, you're going to learn something today, and Joshua in the past also learned something today. What you're looking at right now is Joshua from the past building the 533 Switchback Pro, his race rig uh, for the year. And in fact, if you want to watch this whole build series or see an example of how this quadcopter flies, there are links down in the video description, but don't go. Here's Joshua wrapping up the wire between the flight controller and the ESC and figuring out how to route it. And he doesn't want to route it between the ESC and the flight controller because it's going to kind of get jammed up there and not have enough room. And so what he's going to do is he's going to route it across the top of the flight controller. And some of you guys in the comments said the wire is touching the gyro chip and that's going to make problems. And Joshua in the past said, oh, you guys are overreacting. I've built a ton of quads in the past. I've run wires as long as there's not something like hard or rigid touching the gyro chip, it's not going to be a big deal. And he was wrong. And I'm going to show you what happened when he went to fly the quadcopter for the very first time. And then we're going to look at some black box and see just how much of an effect this one little thing really was having. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Let's take a look at the flight. All right, so this is just beta flight defaults uh, with the race with the 4.2 race preset should be ready to disarm I guess oh yeah there's I've added some expo as well let's get out from underneath here nope No, trilling. So we've got a trilling oscillation, kind of a brrrr sound at high throttle. Uh, I don't blame you if you've missed it because it only happened for a fraction of a second because as soon as I heard it starting to happen, I backed off the throttle. That is indicative of excess vibration getting to the gyro, your D gain being too high or insufficient filtering in the Betaflight filters tab. And here's the thing, on the default PIDs with a good normal five inch build, that just shouldn't happen. The default PIDs are pretty conservative. So the fact that that's happening right out the gate on this super premium, stiff frame, like great motors, it just shouldn't be happening. And it means something is wrong here. What's wrong? Is there something wrong with the tune? No, we're on default PIDs. We haven't even applied like a custom advanced aggressive race tune, but we should be able to do that because, you know, that's what the racers do with this build. So something is wrong with the build. To get a little more insight, I looked at the black box log here, and we're looking at the roll gyro right now. And in case you've never looked at one of these before, what we've got here is on the Y axis, we've got throttle position from zero to 100% throttle. On the X axis, we have the frequency of the noise, and then the color represents the intensity of vibration at that frequency when the throttle is at that position. And so, for example, we've got these diagonal stripes here, and these are just the motor RPMs. Basically, as you raise the throttle, the motor RPM goes up. So that's pretty normal. Uh, but we do see some weird things here. Like, for example, right here, this vertical stripe. This is a stripe of noise at a certain frequency, and it stays at that frequency even as the throttle position goes up. That is mechanical resonance. The resonant frequency of an object, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be excited and it's going to resonate at that frequency, but it's going to keep resonating at that frequency even as the motor RPM changes because that's just how resonance works. So we've got some kind of mechanical resonance affecting this build and the low frequency is, is a real, that's a real problem. It's such a low frequency, it's not getting filtered out by our filters. Hmm, I wonder if that uh, wire could be causing part of this problem. Surely not. Surely not, guys. <laughs> so this is, the only thing I've done is I've moved the wire to the top of the gyro, of the flight control stack so it's not touching the gyro. That's all I've done. Is that an improvement? I think it might be. Well, I'll be 
got tonight. That, I don't think it's perfect, but okay. So this is. I don't even have my. F oh, I do. Okay, God. So this is uh, with the filter sliders at 1.5. Seems fine. So, moving the wire completely fixed the problem. And in fact, I was able to push the filter sliders all the way from 1.0 over to 1.5 and probably even further with the motors staying basically completely clean, clear, smooth, and the quad flying great just from moving that one freaking wire. And in case you need further proof, in case the DVR and the sound of the motors wasn't good enough for you, here is the black box log, again, looking at the roll axis, and you can see that vertical stripe is completely gone. It's completely gone. We'll look at the pitch axis, same thing. Completely. Well, maybe not completely gone, maybe slightly there. Uh, interesting. but. Again, the, the results really speak for themselves. Uh, moving that wire fixed the problem. So uh, what's the takeaway from this? I've done a lot of builds with wires running in between the, you know, across the top of the flight controller. And until now it hasn't been a problem. Um, or maybe it has been a problem and I just never noticed. That's one of the takeaways here. You know, uh, Chris Rosser has been doing a ton of analysis of frame resonance and like he said the oh the armitan frame has a 200 hertz resonance 250 hertz resonance peak i noted that several years ago when when i was doing some black box analysis of those same frames but many people fly frames and builds with resonance problems with vibration problems and as long as it's below a certain critical threshold as long as you can get to full throttle without it getting bad enough that it makes things fall apart you do fine, you just fly your quad. It's only when it crosses a threshold that it gets bad enough that you, you have to do something about it. But that doesn't change the fact that best practice is that you're gonna do things like maybe, maybe not run wires across the top of the flight controller touching the gyro, even if you've gotten away with it all these years. <sighs> I'm Joshua Bardwell and uh, I, uh, you know, I'm always learning. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you guys in the comments who pointed this out. Uh, you want to see me build this quadcopter or you want to see that full flight and see just how hard this quadcopter rips. There's links down in the video description. Happy flying, you guys. You guys, I don't know where I am and I, I don't know what's going to happen, but if I don't make it out of this, I just want to know that you subscribe to my channel or, or maybe join my Patreon or Look, click one of the, click one of these videos I picked out for you. <laughs>